Sabado is brought to you by MSI, the leading brand in high-end gaming. The music source, make your online streaming look and sound professional. Get your Mackie Pro audio gear from the music source. XSplit Broadcaster, a professional live streaming software. And Smart Communications, the Philippines' leading wireless services provider. Check the links on the description to avail our sponsors' products and services. Alright, good evening, good evening po sa inyong lahat at welcome, welcome na naman sa isang episode ng Tech, Tech, Teka, Tech Sabado. Yes, Jing Garcia po ng techsabado.com and the Manila Times. Pasensya na po at meron pong kumakahol ng malakas na malaking aso, obviously, dahil napakababa po ng kanyang, napakababa po ng kanyang tahol. At yan po ay isang, hindi ko alam kung great day nga tayo. Anyway, yan po, Jing Garcia po, gaya ng sinabi ko, ng the Manila Times and of course, ng Tech Sabado. And of course, ano rin na tayo, host din tayo ng Today is Tuesday. Today is, nako, bukas is another year na naman for America to ano, to commemorate mm. September 11 kasi September 10 nga ngayon. Anyway, sige, pag-usapan natin yan maya-maya. Pero before anything else, ating bati, uh, introduce ang parati natin kasama dito sa Tech Sabado every Saturday. It, lalo na to seven years, going on eighth year, kasi bare months na. Naku, malapit na naman anniversary ng Tech Sabado. Papasok na tayo sa eighth year ng Tech Sabado sa, dito po sa ating ano, no, sa mundong ito na napakatagal na namin magkasama. Actually, hindi lang kami eight years magkasama, ay seven years magkasama ito ni Atty. May higit 20 years na kami magkakilala nito. So, Tama lang na magkasama pa rin kami dito sa Tech Sabado. Siyempre tuwing Saturday, aking co-host, walang iba kundi si Atty. Melvin Karimag po na Newsbytes.ph. Magandang gabi, Jean Garcia, the actor, not the actress. Of course, of Good course. Evening. Good evening. <laughs> anyway, yan, matawa rin isa nating co-host dito. Ito, yung guest co-host natin every Saturday na rin. Eh, siyempre, siya po ang editor ng, Mala- at, uh, ng Malaya Business Insight. Editor po siya ng tech uh, section saka motoring section. Walang iba ko hindi si Tito. Yan, si Tito Tribs, Raymond Tribdino po ng Malaya Business Insight. Na co-host ko po every Tuesday sa Today yep. is Tuesday naman. Today is Tuesday. Oh, good evening, gentlemen. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Yeah. Sa mga nakikinig sa atin dito sa Tech Sabado, alam niyo alam niyo na yung drill every Saturday, no? Uh, post niyo lang po ang ating mga internet speed. Oh, no, yan, kahit na anong brand pa yan, kahit na anong telco pa yan, telco agnostic tayo dito. Telco neutral po tayo dito kahit na sponsored tayo ng Smart PLD ng PLDT Smart. Telco neutral pa rin tayo dito sa Tech Sabado. So, ayan po. So, post nyo lang po kung PLDT Smart or Red, Streamtech, uh, Planet, Converge, Globe, kung yan po ang mga ginagamit nyo for your internet service, i-post nyo po yung speed na nakukuha nyo sa mga telco na to, sa mga ISP o yung na internet service providers para po alam natin kung tama o mali ang binabato nilang internet speed sa inyo base po sa inyong binabayaran buwan-buwan o linggo-linggo o araw-araw. Depende po sa mga nag- naka-prepaid dyan. Pero sa mga, I'm sure, yung mga kaibigan natin dito naka-broadband na tag, ano, tag, tag 500 Mbps, eh, buwan-buwan po yung bayad niyan, tag 25,000 po. <laughs> Pero hindi, hindi. Kidding aside, kasi ngayon, kahit na 2,000, eh, 2,000 or 1,500 or 2,000 pesos a month, nakakuha na rin yata kayo ng 100 Mbps o pataas. Yan po. So post nyo lang yan. Post nyo lang para, ma, para malaman din po ng mga nagmumonitor sa atin na, na ISP na gano'n sila ka widespread sa mga nakikinig sa atin dito sa Tech Sabad. Dahil, dahil nakikita nila yung poll natin. Eh. Every week may poll tayo kung ano yung mga ginagamit ng mga viewers natin. Eh. So nalaman na kung saan sila poporma next time. Parang sa mga lugar na baka kulang sa internet service. Okay. Tony? Yes, okay. But as usual, batiin muna natin ang ating mga suke. 
Lalo, ayan, unang-unang dyan, of course, si RJ Espinosa, na taga-padada at tabaw ng sur. Magandang gabi sa'yo, RJ! And of course... Ano yun? Sorry, sorry. May tumug- na naman may eh. Tumugtog, oh. May tumugtog, ano, May tumasok. Aka- sorry. Akala ko pa birthday mo yun kay Sheila. Happy birthday, Rada. Sheila! Oh, birthday oh. ni Sheila Rada. Oh. Oh. Birthday ni Sheila Rada. Kailan ba? September? Ewan ko. Nakita ko lang sa Facebook eh. <laughs> Basta, oh, ay, ngayon! <laughs> ah, ngayon ba? Ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> Minsan kasi yung mga comments sa tao na, na late na eh. Ano man? Happy birthday pala kahapon oh, isang oh, araw pa man. birthday. Happy birthday Sheila. So, happy birthday ha? Sheila. Uh, Woo! Wala pa natin si Sheila. Uh, eh. Ka- alam mo kaya ako naalala kasi itong si Team De Los Reyes Feliciano. Hmm. Binati niya eh. Ayun na ano ko na alala ko. Hmm, okay. At of course si Mel Dominguez bumati rin. Kay oh. Sheila Rada. Oh, hindi pa bumabati. So, Sheila, happy birthday. Lalabas po yung, yung ano, uh, World of Warships tomorrow. <laughs> Oo. Oh. Oh, nga. Manila Times. Ang gabi, ano, hirap, hirap, hirap palusutin ng mga ganyang, ano, ano, mga ganyang stories sa uh, The Manila Times. <laughs> the Manila Times. Talagang may idea. The Manila the, Times. Oo. Hindi pa nakalagay naman sa namin, sa uh, masted namin, The Manila uh, Times. Hindi naman. Uh, Yeah, parang D Ateneo. D Ateneo. Di ba? Totoo naman eh. D Ateneo. Dapat talaga ano eh. Dapat talaga emphasize yun. Kasi yun na nag- uh, The Straight Times, di ba? The New York uh, Times. Di ba New York Times? The New York Times. Diba? The New York Times, yes. Uh, correct. Washington Post, Washington Post lang. Uh, walang B. Washington Post. <laughs> <laughs> Oy, si Tina David, magandang gabi sa iyo, nanonood din siya. Oy, nandito si Sheila Rada. Mm. Ayun, no? Birthday yeah. girl, no? Happy birthday. Wala akong pang ano eh. Wala akong uh, happy birthday, no? Cheer na lang. Happy Alam ko na sa ano to eh. Na Marshall to sa parang ano, parang, parang Boracay ba o sa, somewhere south? O, oh, may ano siya, may trip. Yeah, birthday yun. Nasa parang niya. Sa south eh. Out of money. <laughs> Munti lupa siguro. Uh, si Alabang Alex Fuentes, ito talaga, taga South talaga. Taga South City talaga yung Alex Fuentes. Oh, Bacolod, yan. Si Solitario Balsamo, good evening sa inyo, mga sir. Yeah. Taga saan ka ba? Sol, Balsamo, wala nito eh. Uh, laging nagko-comment din sa ano, sa, sa ano, sa, ano, LinkedIn. Yeah, oh. Good evening, Sol. Si Michael, si Michael Lance, sabi niya, ano, 46.6 Mbps daw siya. PLDT Home, Las Piñas City. Parang kontento na si Michael Lance, sabi niya, sa kanyang PLDT Home na nagka-problema months ago, pero mukhang kontento na siya sa connection niya ngayon. Oo oh, nga. Si Alvin Pingol, sabi niya, Good evening, Sir Jean, Attorney Melvin, and Tito Trips. Mabuhay, Tech Sabado, PLDT, 65 Mbps, Tondo, Manila. Hmm. Yan. Abang-abang lang kayo, mga ano, mga suke, dahil sasama namin kayo sa anniversary show, di ba? Yep. Jean? Oo, oh, sa uh, November, nako, magpa-party ulit tayo. Streaming party tayo. Hopefully, meron tayong maparafal, no? Hmm. Uh, Uh, willing-willing na mag-donate naman po si Tito Jing at saka si Tito Trips ng mga kanilang mga gadgets. Maraming mga laruan eh. <laughs> mas mas, mas natitig yung bites eh. <laughs> uh, kung paramihan lang ng laruan ng mga gadgets, walang tatalo kayo, no? Kay Lolo Jing. Mas maraming pang laruan niya kaysa apo niya. Para totoo lang. <laughs> Hindi <laughs> ko pa pinapahawak sa mga apo ko. Kahit yung mga anak ko, hindi oh, ko pinapahawak sa kanila. Oh, yeah, Pag-awakan okay. yan. Mag- mag-aaway kayo. Kapag uh, ginalaw nyo. Ang, ang problema, ang problema po kasi, eh, ang uh, difference naman po sa amin eh, yung mga gadgets namin ni Tito Trips eh, mga second hand lang po yung mga nabibig yes. sa trip shop. Eh, hindi po katulad ng news bites na mga pinapadala po dyan yung <laughs> oo, oh, oh, di ba? Makikintap pa. So, may kahon. May oh, kahon. Kaya oh, 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 po mag-unbox. Sana nga totoo. Kaya po mag-unbox nung ano, gadget na yun. <laughs> di ba? <laughs> Ay, sis Maria Rosette. Si ano yan? Baka si ano yan? Si Consensya ang meron yan. Wala rin. Oh, wala rin ba? Wala rin ba? 
Oh, ito ba? SI lang yan. Joey and Tikisa, maayong gabi, mga Lodi, 98.5, MBPS, Converge, ICT, Converge. Yan. Uy, ICT, Converge. Si Mate Salviejo, good evening po. Today po, birthday ni Sheila. Ah, ngayon ito pala. Uh, ayun. Siyempre, di natin tatunan kung ano na edad ni Sheila kasi you don't ask a lady her age, di ba? Yes, but you ask the lady kung kailan tayo papakainin. <laughs> Yun, tama, correct. Uh, In short, si uh, Sheila, ano yun, uh, code ni, ano yun, ni Tony na anong age mo na raw? <laughs> <laughs> PM na lang daw. Eh. PM. PM, PM na lang. PM, <laughs> PM is the key. Ayun. Yeah. Ayun, si, pagkakainta pala si Sol, Balsamo. Ayun, hmm. pala tayo. Kat, oh, kapit bahay. Kapit bahay. Kapit bahay. Kapit Kapit po, ano? Kapit Kapit tayo na sa kaing tapa, sige, ako. Ka na yan para sa gadget. <laughs> <laughs> Oo nga, no? Uh, pa? Sa Christmas, gano'n tayo, mag tayo. <laughs> Oo. Meron yan, meron yan, sigurado. Oh, kahit man lang isang, ano, kahit man lang isang Nokia feature phone. <laughs> Wow. Ay, ay, huwag mga pain ng Nokia. Ay. May bumabalik yung ano nila, yung classic phone sila. Flip Pero 4G na. na. May yeah. flip Pero 4G. Oo, oh, oh, 4G oh. na flip phone. Oh. Oh. Kala mo, ha? Oo. Oh. Habang ano, no? Habang lahat uh, pag-uusapan mga foldable tablet nila, foldable computer, and ano, foldable phones, sila naman uh, foldable ay hindi, flip phone naman sa kanila. Original phone. foldable phone yun, di ba? No. 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 Oh. Hindi nga lang yung screen. Correct. Mm. Oy, speaking Correct. of foldable, ay announce ko lang. Kasi nga, no? Mer- for... Ano, meron ka na? Hindi, hindi. Bum- announce ko bum- lang na. Akala ka bumili ka eh. Na for the longest time, yan ang pag-uusapan pa natin technology na yan. Eh, tapos biglang, biglang yung Samsung nga, no? Merong flip tsaka fold 4. Flip 4. Isabihin, fourth generation na. Isabihin, ganun na katagal. Eh, hindi pa rin parang nagte-take off yung mga foldable devices no mga gadgets pero tuloy-tuloy na yan eh nakita pa nga ako na Asus na laptop na foldable nakita mo yon yung foldable na nagiging monitor yung buong buong laptop tapos yung keyboard nasa gitna hugutin mo na yung keyboard may ganun na po ah yung mga unfoldable so puro gadgets lang po ang foldable sa Manila Times po sa bukas ng linggo ang storya po ng ating columnist na si Ma'am Vlogger si Noemi Dado nagkakagaling lang sa IFA German sa Berlin, Germany 2022. Ang kanyang storya, hindi po gadget lang. Kotse. Foldable car. Yan yes. po ang storya namin. Ha? Sa... Paano yun? Basta basahin nyo na lang yun. Sa, sa ano yun. Startup siya. Na, tapos, hindi naman talaga foldable talaga. Pero foldable. Transform. Ay, parang foldable na bike. Parang ganun. Oh, di ba? Mga bike. Ito, kotse. Uh, di ba? Renewable car na pwede mong i-fold para makapark ka kagad. <laughs> yan po. Ang ano. Oh, di ba? Ganyan. Technology na. Oo. Oh. Oh, yan po. Si Tito Trips. 186 Mbps Globe. Ba? Hindi na masama. Matindi na. Oh, 186. Pabilis yan. Kabilis ano yan? Yun. Dito, ano, nag, 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 siya ko dito sa anak ko. Doon sa kanyang bahay. Kinokonek ko. Hindi ko alam kung alam niya. Pero, mm. diba? Magkikabit ka. <laughs> oh, yes. Mm. Uh, Walang kabit. Hmm. Ina David, 24 Mbps Planet. Oh, 24 Mbps. Parang familiar sa akin planet na yan. Planet? Ano yung planet? Uh, yan yung stream tech. Stream tech yan. V, ano yan? Uh, Okay. Billiard telecoms. Uh, all all uh, internet. <laughs> all uh, internet. <laughs> Hindi yan eh. Uh, all TV, no? <laughs> Dapat tawagin na lang nilang stream tech all internet na lang. Para ano, di ba? Uy, unti-unti nang nag, ano, ah, nag-build up ng talent si paring Manny Billiard. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Nang, oh, ano, yeah. May, nung una sila, ano, di ba? Sila... Willie Revillamentos. Willie Revillamentos. Yung una-una niyang... Willie Revillamentos. Tapos may sumunod eh. Late si Mariel uh, Rodriguez Padilla Oo. Uh, Sino nga ba yung, ano, yung pangalwa after Willie Mer- Marami na, padami na rin eh Parang, ano, yeah. parang 2016 din eh Nung bila naglipatan sa Channel 4 Pero wala rin nangyari 
<laughs> oh, diba? <laughs> may mga team, may mga ano pa sila, game show, tsaka ano, gawa, try lang gawin, ano, wala rin. Alam mo, to, to, doon sa mga kaibigan natin sila, di ba sila Winthrop, sila Pierre, alam mo, what makes ABS-CBN, ABS-CBN, yung ano nila eh, yung content eh, regardless kung saan mo sila daling na yeah. channel, na platform, na platform it's yeah. the content. content. Content is king. Yeah. No? So, ano, talagang nandun, yun ang ano, expertise nila, doon sila, ano yun ang tao eh, ay uh, sinusundan, talagang, mm-hmm. ano, uh, they have that niche, expertise, skill, everything. Kaya, ano, ano you can put a good, ano, last, so to speak, no, a good man down, para oh. ganon. Kahit sa dalit, kung baga kung magaling uh, talaga, di ba? Perfect example, yung piyaka kung latest lang, ANC. Just imagine yung ANC, nag, na nagawan na maging ka-level ng CNN sa ka-Bloomberg. Yung quality ng ano, no? ng news report. Oh. Ganon ka, ano, ganon. Yung, pag ano, ang mga business people, uh, it's either dati, Bloomberg at saka ANC lang ang ano ang pinupuntahan. Kasi CNN naman news, hindi naman taga business channel ang news. Or CNBC. Imagine ganun level, CNBC, Bloomberg, tapos ANC for the Philippines. Hindi, di ba? Tapos until mm. now, buhay na buhay pa rin yung ANC. Di ba? Correct, correct. Oh. Ganun, mm. ano, ganun ka, ano, ganun ka tindi. Mm-hmm. Si Paul Anthony Island, mga Lodi, good evening, sabi niya ano sa ano, 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 ano ba yan? Malamang, malamang. Oh. Ano ba nga naman, Paul? Ano bang service provider mo? Baka... I-post mo nga kung ano yung bilis mo dyan. Si Mate, sabi niya, SkyTurn daw siya, Fairview. For 53, ano, tapos 7 upload. Ah, mababay, upload ah. Hindi to parang, parang di asynchronous ah. Hindi ka pwedeng, ano, <laughs> pwedeng content creator. <laughs> <laughs> Oo, kasi mababay upload din. Eh, no? May Sky Internet pa pala. Oo. <laughs> sabi ko, meron. Hindi, di ba meron pa? Di nga natuloy yung ano nila eh. Yung... Yung deal nila with TV pa, eh, di ba? Dapat nga, oh. Uh, oh, man, mag-invest no. bib- ng, ano, ng signal, signal yung no, sky, eh, di ba? Pasok. Oh, no, Wala, hindi nga na ano, eh, di ba? Si mm-hmm. RG Espinota, sana, sana magbunod sa raffle. Sabi niya, naku, oh. nag- nakaabang na pala sila. Sari tayo nito. Alam mo, alam mo, nung nag-anniversary po yung, ano, yung today today's Tuesday, last August, last month. Talagang plano talaga namin, ano, plano talaga namin ni Tito Tibbs mamigay ng limpak-limpak ng limpak sa lapi. Eh, kaso oh. dos month eh. Kaya bawal maglabas, <laughs> di ba? Oh, bawal maglabas ng pera. Bawal maglabas ng pera. <laughs> Kaya kuinento na lang namin. Kaya wala kayo nilabas. <laughs> <laughs> kuinento na lang namin, attorney. La- di naman bawal yun kasi, eh, di ba? Wala namang kaming pinangako eh. Pero talagang plinano namin. Di ba? Mm. So, <laughs> Si Mate, sabi niya, two things you don't ask a lady. Her age and waistline. Yun, yan, totoo yan. Ako. Lalo na pagkapareho na. Pagkapareho na. <laughs> Pagtugma na yung waistline at saka yung age. At saka yung age. No, so, Mate, no, no. ano waistline mo ba? Hulaan namin kung age mo. <laughs> Uy. Sabi Ay, ni Mate. 20. 23. 23 yung ano yun yun. Ah, ah, yung waistline. Oh, oh, sexy. Sexy. Oo oh. nga. Oh, si Sol, balsamo. Coffee tayo ba? Nag, uh, ano, ha? Nag-aaya? Uh, Sige. Oh. Taka-Greenwood sa ako po. Taka rito. Kapuntahin <laughs> mo sa liquor. Ah. Ano mo? Oo. Oh, <laughs> oh. Kayo? Sa yung liquor store. Um. Ay, kayo palang nanonood. Kailangan nyo ng, ano, ng, uh, uh, drinks or Wine for your birthday, for your Christmas presents. Meron po tayong dating galing Spain and Italy. Yun, Ayan, ha? Mm, wow. Uh, so, mm. kung kailangan nyo po. Medyo yung iba, yung Italy medyo mahal na konti. Nasa 800, 1,000. Pero yung galing Spain yun, nasa 300, 400, ay, 500, gano'n yun. So, uh, mas affordable yung sa Spain. Yan, okay. So, mm. ano lang po, talang po kayo sa, ano, sa Facebook page namin. Okay, better yet. Punta po kayo sa ano? Sa... Bakit po mura sa Spain? Yung Spanish ano? Uh, hindi ko alam eh. Kasi pinakamahal talaga is France. Ah, talaga. Oo, oh, ayoko magbenta kasi medyo mahal eh. Although meron akong may a few ano, uh, liquors na taga galing France, medyo mahal. Hmm. Tapos, tusunod Italy. And then, 
Spain. Yan. Ano ba mga ano, South American at Australian wines, red wine? Meron din, meron, meron. Ano, meron, ano meron, ko yung favorite ko ngayon eh? Kasi nga mahal nga yung mga ano eh. Uh, meron akong galing Argentina and Chile. Ang sarap ng mga wine ng red wine ng Argentina uh, at Chile at saka Australia. Yan. Uh, yan, yan. Oy, sabi ni okay. Michael Lanz, umaano si Michael Lanz, so, con- correct, content is king but starting today, Charles is king. Yon. Hindi po, Charles Ikaw, in charge. Galing, no? uh, Charles uh, in charge. Yan. Uh, Charles in charge. Pero alam mo ako, Jing, hmm. wala akong nakikitang connection dyan sa, ano, sa British monarchy. Mas tingin ko pa nga dyan, ano eh, exploitative eh. They built an empire and, and, and ano built their rich their Shadow riches. Shadow na lang siya ng ano. You see Elizabeth naging shadow na lang of their former ano, glory. Oo oh, nga, pero they na lang talaga eh. Yung, yung kumbaga, oh, wala nga. na. Siya na yung tail end eh. Oo, so, pero it, kahit na, yung riches nila came from oh, naman. their ano eh. Colonization eh. Oh, same, so, parang, with the, same with the Catholic Church. Well, I don't know. Yun yun. Yung mga uh, makikita mong pag bumibisita ka sa Vatican, makita mong mga ginto-ginto sa mga pinto ng ano, eh, galing sa mga dugo ng ano yan na mga na-exploit din na, na, uh, na, uh, na country. So it's the same eh. Wala eh. The, the, yun yung panahon nung araw eh. Di ba? Di ba? Okay lang naman na-aware tayo. Pero... We cannot ano eh correct what Hindi. Well, in, medyo nagpapaisip lang ako kasi that social media and media of course, ano na rin, oh. no? mass media is pouring putting to oh. so much focus on this. Ah, para sa akin eh, ano siya eh, she's siya she's a mass media queen eh. Global figure eh, no? oh, so, oh, human oh, interest oh, story oh. eh, no? Uh, yeah, yun mismo tugma ka ano ko unang-una sh- Wow. So, talagang media ano siya, media queen siya kasi siya yung unang-unang coronation na on t- live on television. Oh. Uh, so, talaga from then on tuloy-tuloy na yun from ano oh. yun. So hindi na siya tinantanan. Yung buong family na yun. Pero yun na nga eh itong magkukuwentuhan nga kami ni Mel, sabi ko nga sa kanya, if it wasn't for the ano the British monarchy wala nang ano, wala nang saysay ang ano, ang royal royalty sa Europe or around the world. Sila nagpa Bakit? sila nag-level up. Sila nag-level up, sila lumabas sa TV, sila naging mass media, nag ano, nag ano sila sa mass media. Hanggang ngayon, kita mo may mga royalty pa rin sa ano, nag-nadya ng uh, nandiya ng Monaco, kilala ng mga tao. Tapos ang ganda mo 'yung nakikipag ano, nakikipag uh, sosyalan 'yung mga tao sa mga royalty sa Europe. Kumbaga nagkaroon ng buhay ulit 'yung mga royalty. So, eh, wala na sila eh, 'di ba? Time for Okay. So, eh. Dapat napakalimutan na sila ng ng ano eh, ng panahon eh. Pero because of ano the British monarchy, because of their exposure to mass media. Nakatulong uh, no 'yung mass media no. Talaga. To pop to to perpetuate 'yung monarchy yes. no. Yung, yeah, monarchy but, but entire ano blue blood society ng U- Europe. Na naman natin oh. na na from the before the renaissance eh doon nag-start talaga ang ano do yung christianity and ano and yung yung western idea of christianity and ano and royalty magkatugma yan kung titingin mo talaga history ng ng mundo magkatugma talaga yan, magkasama yan they both exploited ano no uh, a lot of uh, a lot of things yung mga panahon na yon pero that was ano eh, that was then eh. nagbago na ngayon pero pero, pero ngayon ngayon attorney cha Tito Jing may mga monarchies pa din. Una I'll agree, I'll oh. agree with you. Tito Jing ano ay attorney I'll agree with you ah. Yung monarchy nagkaroon sila ng yung because of the the yung absolute power na dinederive nila from that political system ni isang tao lang, di ba? May hmm. mga monarchies sa Brunei, sa Saudi, oh. sa Vatican. Ah, hindi mo lang it's not <laughs> ka, sa you sa ano, parang sa monarchy UN. na rin din, monarchal na rin ang dating noon, di ba? Yung Vatican. Oh, oh, parang ganoon. Pero <laughs> hindi siya <laughs> hindi siya technically oh. ano, oh, well, diba? hindi siya yung royalty siya, type eh. Hindi siya royalty eh. Pag sinabi mo kasi ano, pag sinabi mong monarchy, there is a head of state. Mm-hmm. May mga monarchies na constitutional na figurehead lang, di ba? Tulad Which is ng, ngayon na ganoon ang UK ngayon, di ba? Oo. Oh. And Japan. Oh. oh, tapos may mga commonwealth Like, yan, ang UK is a commonwealth monarchy. Maraming mga bansa na supposedly under their control. <clears throat> Pero, ano eh, parang kumukuha lang sila ng taxes. Di ba, nabubuhay sila because of their... Di ba, because <laughs> yun, yun, of... Yun, 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 yun
wala eh. That's their society. And, mm. and alam mo, sa totoo lang, meron pa lineage ang mga Romanovs. Kung, oh, kung pwede lang, kung pwede lang, kung ako, kung ako Rona, ano, I'm a Romanov blood, kukunin ko yan, no? kukunin ko yung Russia. Ibabalik ko yung Russia sa akin. Mm-hmm. Ako, ako, I rightful heir ng, ano, ng Russian throne. Ng Russian Actually, throne. meron. May, there's a guy yeah. who meron tried to, ano, to, diba? ano, no? To reclaim. Pero, the, ano, the, uh, pero kung yung mga tao na mismo, nag, nag, ano, nag, nag, ano, they, they ayaw na. Plotted ayaw their own self-determination. Ano na, wala ka nang, oh, di ba, kung yung mga tao na mismo nagsabi, di ba, eh, in this time and age, na irre- para sa akin, irrelevant na dapat yung mga yun eh. Yun na nga eh, irrelevant diba, naman talaga dahil sa totoo lang, napag-iwanan na nga ng panahon. It's, it's an old, ano, it's an old, uh, it's an old, old power, di ba, yung mga tao, hmm. na, pwede natin tawag niya. Pero ngayon nga, dahil, imagine, yung Netflix, ginawa pa ng movie, tapos ngayon, ngayon, parang nasa top 10 yata ulit ng The Crown, kahit na, Nako, yun ang problema eh. Yung The Crown magiging ano, parang Bible truth ng royal family. Na kahit, oh. kahit na sabihin nilang fiction lang. Baka maging Bible truth sa karamihan ng mga tao. Especially yung hindi naman talaga exposed. Pero marami rin royalists eh. Yun nga, mass media gin, ano, made them actually. Mainstream media create, uh, hindi lang created but was, ano, ano, was used to, ano, no, to create that fantasy na naman with ano with the royal family and speaking of ano ano and speaking of mass media eh, kailangan diyan mga mga content creators mm-hmm. diba? yan so, so pag nag-aano ka ng content na for mass consumption eh marami ka talaga may influencia correct so, ano ba ang diferensya dito jing ng isang content creator at saka isang tulad nating journalists or di ba what is the Is there the di- is there Ay, iba yung mga con- iba, iba mamaya pag-uusapan natin iba yung Sige. content creator na pag-uusapan natin this is not the content creator na pang YouTube YouTube lang mga influencer these mm-hmm. are actually content creators for video games yep. and motion picture mga ganyan correct so yung pare so, yung, yung definition ng content oo yun ang ano natin hindi yung iba kasi yung idea natin ng content creator ngayon eh, na mm-hmm. yung gumagawa ng mga TikTok no oh. ganun pero yun na nga so isi segue ko na uh, mga boys isi segue na natin may mga yes. gusto pa buo na kaya batim ba kaya mag segue well siguro yun to sila uh, Beck Jeff Buckley umahabol daw from KSA uh, sino ba to si Mike ang dami ng daming comments na tukod dun sa Peter Isabel o sa o well yeah. yun yun Sige, sige. Iyan na muna, Jing. Eh, ano nga, hindi nga ako ma-invite, ma-invite ng ano dahil nga sabi ko nga old power yan. So, hindi tayo invited ngayon sa ano, sa sa UK. So. <laughs> <laughs> Pibisitahin ko yan sa November. <laughs> ah, ganun ba? Magbiyahe ka ba? Oo, oh, punta ako dun. Hindi pa oh. nga ako inintay ni Queen eh. Sabi niya, inintay oh, niya. Oo nga, no? Oh. Dapat, uh, you, you, go, you will go to London to visit the Queen. Usually, ganun eh, no? Diba? Oh. Correct. <laughs> yep. Ganun na nga, ano. So, ayan. Meron tayong ano, guest today, uh, tonight, na may pag-uusapan natin about, yun na nga, ano, na-mention ko nga kanina, yung pag ano ng content creation. Uh, meron silang organization na magkakaroon silang event, actually, this coming, ano, ano, October. And it will be held in Cebu. Sila po ang, papa-explain natin sa kanila kung ano yung talagang ginagawa ng CCAP. Ito po yung organization sa mga ano no, mga content creators. Hindi po content creator na pang ano lang ha, yung mga pang TikTok saka ano no. Ito po yung ito po yung content creator creation sa mga video games, kaya na sinabi ko mga mobile phone games, motion pictures, mga ganyan. Tapos uh, sound production, music, mga ano talaga pang ano talaga to. Ah uh, pang malakihan kumbaga. So kasi nga nakita nila na napakaraming talent sa Pilipinas. So they have this organization that ano no bring bring all these people in one event. And yun ang pag-uusapan natin tonight. Ah uh, Dus ka na muna. Okay? Uh, um, nandito na ba sila? Yes. Uh, tonight we'll be having Marla De Castro Roush. 
siya po ang makakasama natin along with Magu Del Mundo both from CCAP and they will be talking about this com- upcoming event in October. Good evening, Marla and Magu. Are you there? Hello, hello. hello. Good evening. Good yes. evening, Jing. Jing, sabihin mo muna kung ano yung CCAP. Hmm? Ma-explain na lang natin sa kanila para alam hindi tayo hindi ako magkamali. Dahil, <laughs> okay, sige, sige. <laughs> oh, yung organization nila na uh, I'll ask who will go first? Magu or Ma- Marla? Magu yeah, first. That would be me. Yeah, that would be me. Yes. Yeah. Uh, ano, expl- Thanks, ano ko lang, sab- sabihin ko lang sa mga nanunod sa atin. Magu right now is in Sydney, Australia while Marla is in California. So, oh, international time check tayo ano. Oh, so international po ang atin anong streaming ngayon. Tap kasi si Melvin nasa Pasig, si Raymond nasa San Pablo and I am in Tagaytay City. So talagang truly international tayo. Okay? Bra- oh, ang tindi, no? Oh, ang tindi. Tapos oh. makita nyo po ang ganda ng ano natin. Ang ganda ng streaming natin. Hindi po yung pag nasa Paranaque ang kausap natin eh putol-putol. Anyway, let's go back. <laughs> Magu, del mundo, si Cap. Good evening sa inyo. Yeah. Good evening, Jing. Good evening, uh, attorney and the uh, the titos and titas who are here, no, um, with us this evening, no, in in the Philippines right now. Um, thank you so much for this, uh, you know, time to be here. Uh, I just want to say, so what is CCAP? No, CCAP is actually uh, a short our short name for the Creative Content Creators Association of the Philippines. Mm-hmm. It's a mouthful. Kaya uh, CCAP na lang, de ba? Hindi um, kasi may CCAP din na ano eh, na other organization yung Contact Center Association of the Philippines. Yes. Uh, yun yung nakakatawa. Uh, CCAP. Uh, Kami yung CCAP, di ba? So, um, it's it's a very sto- uh, funny story kung paano naging ganun. Maybe it should be better over a bottle of beer and some <laughs> ano, sibulichon, di ba? Um, that would be ano, really fun to discuss. Um, but yeah, so so basically we are an association that um, helps develop um, original Filipino creative content. So um, that's uh, the buying since I'm different from the content creators, you know, we're all content creators, pero yung focus lang ni CCAP is on uh, creative Filipino content, wherein um, it falls under the sectors, no, the ungtad definition of sectors of um, animation, game design, um, prose, character, um, music, and um, I missed comics. There you go. I almost missed out on comics. that one. <laughs> yeah, comics. Uh, yeah. So you're going yeah, to so, have an upcoming event? Yeah, yeah, we have an upcoming yes. event um, in October, which Marla will be more than, I don't know, happy to explain on our behalf. Mm. <laughs> Marla, what is this event about and who will be there and who are you inviting to be there as well? Ah, so Ayo is our event in Cebu that is in October. It is a four-day hybrid event. Uh, Two days will be live in Cebu at the Waterfront uh, Hotel, and two days will be purely online. It's two weekends, and Ayo is uh, a, 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 it's an event of workshops and talks, para matutunan ng mga ang ating mga young content create uh, content Filipino creators. Um, how is it to be in the business? of creative content pa. Pag pinag-usapan natin ang I already have, meron akong idea on a story, meron akong idea for a comic, paano ba natin siya gagawin so that we can monetize it? How do we protect and manage our own intellectual properties para we can take advantage of the potential windfall, kumbaga, ng mga, ng coming in ng mga, you know, revenues? How do we find ways to be able to market and, and uh, uh, well, reach out to various uh, areas para makilala naman yung IP natin at saka syempre makilala rin yung creative uh, content creator natin. So that's going to be uh, October 7 and 8 for the live event in Cebu and October 14 and 15 naman para sa online. Mm. So, yes. So manami pa lang ano, way para maka-attend ng event na not only kailangan physical to be physically there mm. no so for that yeah. one yes and oh. Marla, you you mentioned ip yun yung isa sa mga hmm. nagiging issue nga ng mga artists uh, mga creators ngayon uh, dati yung, yung mga pinoy ang pating ano no yung nagdanakaw ng ip ngayon yung mga pinoy yeah. may problema na <laughs> ng ip 
Ano <laughs> gano'n ka ano to? Ano ano tong issue na to na is this an issue now for the Filipino creators? Do they are they <laughs> ano na ba sila dito aware na ba sila or or talagang tinatamaan na ba sila ng problema ng mga na sila okay. naman ang nanakawan when it comes to intellectual property? I think actually, Jing, very interesting your question, Ayana. Because one of the things that we're learning, tama ka eh, kasi now more, more and more with the with the uh, with the event of social media, chaka yung mga malami na mga platforms and everything. Malami na mga tao na they're more afraid on putting their work out or talking about their work, kasi tatapat sila na pwedeng manakaw, pwedeng makuha, lalo na pag pinasok natin na ko. I'm going to say a word na medyo uh ano siya medyo nakakaba sa ibang tao NFTs di ba mm-hmm. medyo maraming mga issues and mga questions and uh dilemmas diyan um i heard from a very from one of our um senior advisors si Eric Calderon from the US he's an executive producer he does business of animation talaga one of the things that he said was when we actually share our ip and let people know what it is it actually becomes protected also in the sense that we already identify who the, the IP owner is when we share it. So, mm-hmm. kumaga, yes, we have to be protective. We, we have to be careful. Hindi natin basta-basta ipamigay kung saan-saan na hindi natin kontrado. Pero if we're able to share it na nakakonect naman tayo, let's say kung nandito ako ngayon at pag-uusapan ko ang aking IP na feature, um, if I can say na, oh, ito yung feature ko, ito yung ginagawa namin, and this is me and everything, Meron ngayon tayong record through Tech Sabado that we are now saying na ah, ito pala yung ginagawa ni Marla, ni Marla de Castro yeah. na IP niya. So there are ways for us to be able to protect it. And um, that's one of the things also that CCAP does. We endeavor to try to uh, teach people, rin, teach our creators how to properly protect and to manage their intellectual property para hindi sila natatakot. Magu, may, may mga nagtatanong na ba about that? So mga yeah. members niyo? Yeah, madame. Actually, a lot of uh, mga members na so masali. I, they actually get interested and want to wanted to join Sika precisely because of that. Mm, no, okay. um, it's it's a reality na as a creator, masali sa Philippines, no, or or those in the region in Southeast Asia, na we are a very digital savvy um, culture, no, uh, people, and we love to post. We are very strong on social media. We love to share our art, our work, our music. And then magugulat na lang tayo na uy ginamit na pala ng ibang tao from a different country yung illustration ko nandoon na sa, t- sa t-shirt niya. 'Di ba? So, you know, mga ganun how to how to protect that, how to even monetize like what Marla said, no? How to maximize that and um how to stra- strategically um you know, optimize the revenue streams of their IPs. Kasi uh, one yeah. of the greatest um um I guess opportunities that we have uh, sa Philippines no as Filipino creatives and creators no is the fact na our we are a very beautiful um fusion of western sensibility and asian sensibility diba when it comes to our craft as uh in in creatives no so we actually have that opportunity and that potential to reach both sides of the world and when we can do that, when we know how to leverage on that, we actually, um, you know, have more opportunity to, uh, no, to, to, to generate revenue, generate income. Um, but it's a whole ecosystem in itself, diba? And what's important is that um, the creators understand the business side. Because for the longest time, we've been kumbaga, developing our hands, diba? We're very good at what we do in terms of creatives. Our technical skills, our digital skills are so amazing. And then now, we're, it's now time to focus and work also alongside no, the development of the skills and the hands is the thoughts, the head, the business side, the mm. uh, being becoming thought leaders naman. Not just yeah. always the the the, do, the doers. We're we're parang we're really good at that. But let's elevate naman. Kasi we're there. Eh. Tayo naman gumagawa sa uh, Marvel, sa Disney. Mm. Story natin ang gawin ganun, yeah. problema, artist ang ano mo eh. Kausap niyo, lahat yan, artistic, art, iba yung ano, walang business sense, mm. more artist, <laughs> parang for them, is, it's the art, okay na sa akin yung art, basta nandiyan, nagagawa ako yung gusto ko, and mm. siguro kung nababuhas, yes. swelduhan ako ng tama, okay lang din, pero wala na sa mm. ibang iniisip kung mm. about anything else, basta may, lag, may drawing nila, may labas nila yung creativity nila, yan oh. din nagiging yeah. challenge natin. 
Yes, Marla. Oh, oh, that's yes, that's exactly why tama ka jing na and na excited ako masyado. Uh, that is exactly why meron uh, where meron kami na isip na this is how we plan to have the platform ng Ayo. So Ayo is mm-hmm. going to be a yearly event. Uh, this year we're going to introduce it nga sa mga ating mga creative Filipino creators. Uh, so that we will be able to uh, let them know paano ba o oh, sige I'm a, you're an artist you're an illustrator mm-hmm. you have been working let's say sa mga iba-ibang mga production companies pero pag sinabi naman natin mga artists at jing siguro naman sa maano ma- natin na um hindi sila nagsimula na sabi nila na I want to just work on other people's work mm-hmm. so, meron silang parang gusto talagang gawin na sabi nila lang so, na, na, na kanilang kanila lang di ba that I have a story I want to tell meron akong kwento galing sa lolo ko or sa lola ko na uh, na gusto ko sana gawing comic or gusto ko sana gawing uh, animation or gusto ko sana gawing siyang um, uh, video game or tabletop game. Na, um, pero hindi alam kung paano natin gagawin kasi yun nga, they started working in different companies and they started to earn money and then parang hanggang napunta sila doon and then parang, teka muna, paano nga pala, how do I continue on? And that's what Ayo wants to do. Is let's okay. Let's talk about. Paano ba natin itutuloy? Meron kang idea, meron kang story. Ano ang next step mo? Hmm. So Cup, um, yun ang goal niya. Ayun ang reason kung bakit kami nag nagsama-sama. Kasi we're basically a group of creators. Dito kami nang galing. Uh, ang day jobs namin may mga trabaho kami sa um, uh, animation company. May mga kami trabaho sa mga um, <laughs> advertising, di ba? Iba-ibang uh, creative uh, industry companies. And but we all have our own IP ideas and our own stories. Meron kami ang um, aming uh, treasurer, for example. Uh, she's big on uh, video games and things like that. Pero she's also a great author. Marami siyang stories na gusto i- 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 publish, you know, and all these things. So she came together so that we would be able to help fellow creators. Kasi on our own, on our own, but isa kami, we were going through our own paces, paano namin i- i-promote, paano namin i-matututunan. And sabi namin, sabi namin, hindi ba mas maganda kung may community kang mapupuntahan mm. na pwede natin pag-usapan yan. Oh, mag-collaborate tayo. Uh, Magu, may music ka, marunong ka sa music, Tur- tulungan mo ako dito, meron akong idea on this mm. short na I want to do. So usap tayo, ganyan. And then we have um, uh, comic creators also. And doon mo mapakikita eh. Kasi if you have developed your own idea, meron kang character na ginawa or meron kang story na ginawa, pwede mo ngayon yan idala, let's say, kung sinimulan mo siya sa comic, dali naman natin siya sa animation, dali naman natin siya sa video game, dali naman natin siya sa character, di ba? Para talagang mabuhay yung buong ano, ng IP ng, uh, ng work natin. Yeah, and ano, just to to uh, add on to that, no, yung what Marlo was saying, yung yung IP mo na comic, gagawin mong ano animated series, gagawin mo siyang and, and that's uh, one of the core things that Sika really teaches and espouses. No, it's it's IP ecology, intellectual property mm-hmm. ecology, taking that one IP from one media stream and seeing how it can cross pollinate across different other creative sectors and at the same time different industries. Like for example, may isip ba natin na uh, at the start si Pokemon ay magkakaroon ng isang damakmak na mga ibang transport team. <laughs> a Pokemon na uh, ano na transportation from from trains, but the JR Rails has that. Um, may mga Kantas and uh, KLM other airplanes na yes. Pokemon oh, team. Um, mm-hmm. sa Hyung Day sa South Korea, may isang hotel na every off peak lahat na mga deluxe rooms pa baba ginagawa ng Pokemon team rooms. Mm-hmm. Aside from the mm-hmm. Pokemon, um, what you call it now, Pokemon theme parks, diba? And that's just yeah. Pokemon. Uh, Malaysia Open Epin is doing the same thing. So that's what mm-hmm. we want to show uh, na. Kasi ako, uh, uh, sorry mom, sorry dad. <laughs> she waited from ano, from high school. Gusto ko na mag ano, mag uh, mag music, no? Pumasa mm-hmm. na ako sa abroad, nag ano na, na for full scholarship. Pero sabi nila, anak, mga ngayayat ka, di ba? Hindi mo ka dyan kasi mamamatay ka sa gutom. So, dinala ako sa com art sa USD, you know, which is cool kasi it, it opened up my mind to so many other things. Pero at the same time, what we're seeing now, especially with what the pandemic did, especially with how content is being consumed now, right? Kaya ang dami natin short form contents eh, from Kumu to TikTok to whatever. It's because people are hungry for content. And if if creatives, creators, Filipino creators know how to properly leverage on that, we can make so much money. Diba? I know of this, ano, um, a good example, uh, at the start of the pandemic, she was a 15-year-old girl, no, high school student. Uh, she made a webcomic. 
ngayon pumatok yung webcomic na yan. And at that time, at, as a 15-year-old, she was earning 60 to 80,000 pesos a month by doing her webcomic. Hmm. ba? And, and that's just one kid. What if so many other artists have uh, have that um, business savviness, di ba? Ang um, blessing sa kanya is yung parents niya were kind of business-oriented and understood mm-hmm. the importance of protecting mm-hmm. and utilizing that IP. So yun ang lamang niya. But so many other people who are talented do not have that opportunity, do not have that mm-hmm. guidance. And that's where Seekup wants to come in. And and that's why Ayo is also for us, we really believe is crucial. Kasi si Ayo, no, um, uh, aside from being a place where you can learn about um, you know what are the latest trends sa uh, sa international market ano yung latest technologies na ginagamit for production pipeline diba um it's also a place where um filipino creators can bring their content to a global consumption market so instead of kasi amahal pumunta sa ibang bansa eh, like um ayo is based on asian tv festival creative conference in malaysia um you know it's our dream to be like an annecy of the philippines no uh, so these are all international um content um events na to join parang 80,000 pesos ang registration fee mo on top of all the other costs diba so ang mahal and so paano yung 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 struggling artist mo well kahit hindi struggling no pero siyang uh, weekend artist kasi mm-hmm. meron siyang monday to friday Day-tem. and then passion Day-tem. project Oh, yeah, may day oh. job tas meron kang vocation or calling, oh. Oh. So, so that's the reason why Seekup is doing ayo. It's we want, you know, if we since we can't go to the market, bring the market to us. Mm. Yes. Right? Give exactly. us opportunities for the talented um person in the Visayas or in Manila or in Baguio who has this wonderful comic story, uh, who has this amazing idea for an animation, who has this wonderful song. But because oh. of economics, because of reality of life does not have access because they don't know because they so, don't yeah they don't know, know. yes yeah mm-hmm. and they don't have access also so what if they have that opportunity what if yung mga taga netflix ang pupunta dito yung disney pupunta dito yung mga taga paramount ang pupunta dito para tignan ang pilipinas uh-huh. we're we are always overlooked kasi ang tingin sa atin service kamay lang pero ang dami natin ng kagandang storya di ba ang dami natin myths ang dami natin if, Wag na nga natin pumunta sa myths. Mga kwento sa mga pamilya natin, ang atin famous Tito Boys, di ba? Uh-huh. Or Lola Nenes, di ba? May mga story yan mga yan eh. We all have those in which can, and these are stories that resonate not just for Filipinos, but also with the rest of our region and the rest of the world, you know? Because of the pandemic, because of how these platforms have allowed consumption to happen, you know, the world is smaller. Yeah. Stories, stories are a lot more important because they resonate with more people now. Kaya nga benta K-pop eh. Kaya nga benta ang K-novela. Mm, Kaya yeah. ngayon, we have Kanto Pop coming in. Mm. It's because we're realizing, if you look at the difference, uh, I mean, looking beyond the difference in language, looking beyond the difference of our skin tone, and maybe the you know type of food we eat, we all have the same themes in life. We all have the same struggles. We all have the same aspirations. We just say it differently because our language is different. Diba? And that is the opportunity yeah. the Filipino creator has now. So, yeah. something in your Marla, Magu, and this will actually help uh, this, I don't know, this industry natin uh, through CCAP and I. Because ah, um, I've, I've, I've been around for the longest time. Nung bata ako, I always see toy animation sa West Avenue. And that was the time when, when the Japanese... Uh, wow. Animation mm-hmm. of the 70s was really, really popular in Asia, especially mm-hmm. in the Philippines. Tapos, yeah. wala na, parang, oh, yeah, tapos until, until 80s, nandiyan pa rin ng toy, nasa Pilipinas pa rin, tapos dumating na yun. Tapos meron na tayong, by, 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 in 90s pa lang, nakilala na natin yung mga, ano, no? yung mga artists natin sa Marvel Comics, sa DC, mga Filipino. Hmm? Pero, yes. still, another 20 years, pa, ano, ba, bakit parang nandito pa rin yung Philippines? <laughs> that's a very that's a great question so, a question this will uh, actually ask. help us now ito dapat talaga no yes yeah. yes um, no, if, if I... yeah go ahead go ahead Magu. Magu. go ahead I see, I see. Uh, mr see, president thanks, thanks marla uh, sorry miss president <laughs> no but um <laughs> what but pero kasi ano eh, jing ganito yun eh. um for the longest time we have always been good at what we do but if you look at oh, animation the history of, of animation we were never taught to be the thought leaders we were taught to be amazing artists but not the decision makers 
Mm. We know if if an animation if if the panel is bad. Alam natin ano pag pangit yung diskarte. Pero tinuruan ba tayo paano aralin yung business? Kasi the thing about creative IP, you know, the the money is not only in the IP. The actual revenue is in the the different ways how you can exploit the IP. Sorry for the term, but that's the official term being used diba? in, in WIPO. It's yeah. exploiting the IP. Diba? It's, well, maybe utilizing, optimizing the use of the IP. But we're never taught to think beyond the animation. And that's where that's why CCAP is an, eh, we really push IP ecology. Because like, have you ever thought of, ano ba, may, may, may R rating ba tayo or PG-13 rating ba tayo? <laughs> because this is one of my favorite examples. This is one of my favorite so, examples. Never. Okay, great. So, ano, sorry, mom. <laughs> um, um, Hello Kitty, right? Hello Kitty. Cute Japanese character. Everybody knows Hello Kitty. But do you know that they actually have an adult toy line? Diba? They do. I mean, <laughs> Hello yes, Kitty I know. Plugs. Diba? <laughs> Mazinger Z. Yes. Mazinger Z has a Tenga Cup version, diba? You, you can play with your Tenga in two ways, as a robot and with yourself. I mean, diba? Mm. Um, Okamoto came up with, um at the launch of um, Ultraman, came out with their Ultraman series of Okamoto condoms. Maybe because Ultraman will last for five minutes. Diba? I mean, that was a running joke at the time. Don't want to surprise. <laughs> <laughs> when, but in Japanese, I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, pero and dami kasi, yeah, diba? Are. I mean, and these are the things that actually generate the revenue. Kasi diba, ang problema natin, again, to animation, no? napalabas mo ng episode, napalabas mo ng movie, tapos, tulog na. Natutulog na ang Diyos. Diba? Pero what if, what if you think about na, this, and this is why, ano, bilibo ko kay Pokemon eh. Tulog na yung, ano niya, yung, yung animated series niya, diba? Aba, hindi gawa tayo ng, ano, ng cafe. I-license, i-license out natin siya, gawin natin yung cafe. Diba? Oh, um, gawa tayo ng iba-ibang movies. Gawa tayo ng iba-ibang comics. You know, actually, in, in Japan, there are like three versions of Pokemon comics. One for boys, one just for girls, and then the common one that most manga collectors have. The way means understanding that and it's seeing beyond just the initial IP. Because that's where it is. And and um, a fun fact, no? Um, we actually have um, a Filipino anime right now that is currently in talks with a Japanese studio to produce it. As a proper and to be distributed in Japan and in Asia and around the world, so we're getting there. The CCAP member din yun, di ba? Um, but we're so it shows now. Going back to the main point now, it, will this help? It, it's starting. We have these opportunities already. Um, it's just quiet in the background, di ba? Because you don't you don't want to rattle all the business deals happening, di ba? I mean, yun yung business sense na kailangan develop din. Uh, Mag-announce ka kagad sa bay hindi naman natuloy. But I mean, that's the thing. We we have we have made those. Cikap has yeah. been able to um, make those steps. We we have um, an amazing 3D animated feature uh, length movie that is ano, um, that is in the works right now, which has Hollywood support and guidance. I mean, these are the opportunities here. And pero kasi ang, ang, and this is me. So forgive me again. This is not the ano. This is. Disclaimer, this is my personal ano, uh, insight or thoughts on it. No? Uh, in the Philippines, kasi we always want na mabilisan. Mabilis ang movie. Diba? Mabilis ang ano. So, mag-invest ako ng 2 million, 3 million, 4 million. Tapos, okay, in 3 months, pag nalabas ng pelikula, kumita na ako. Nang, nabawi ko na yung invest ko, may interest na ako. But, see, when you look at it globally, mabagal yan ang, ano, eh, mabagal ang gestation period ng mga IPs, creative IPs na, na ano, eh, very strong. Diba? And and of course, so aside from helping build the creator's business mindset, CCAP is also trying to educate also the investment in the business community. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. So the approach is yeah. twofold. Actually, threefold because we are also working with legislation. We're very mm-hmm. active in communicating with government agencies on what is needed. Oh, okay, that's um, good. What are the trends international? So it's very tri- ano, trifold. Sorry, hindi pala twofold. Sorry. Wow. music major mom hindi ako ano math so but yeah so three three pronged approach siya. and um i know marla has a lot more to add to what i just uh said <laughs> no i was no thank you because that was exactly what i was going to say but 
uh, in in addition, uh, Jing, to what you were saying also about the you know the new dating uh, animation that it was growing. Actually, a uh, meron tayo mga ano, contributions then, syempre, kasi we, you know if you talk about the Scooby Doo's, if you talk about those mm-hmm. um, uh, Hanna Barbera types things, diba? That was all coming from the Philippines, the Philippines and we were all working yes. on those things, diba? Oh, oh, yun nga lang. It's white club. Kumaga hindi tayo na kakredit don hindi dati hindi kasi atin, diba? It's not our IP, so we were working on it. Um, so when we were creating Ayo, we actually did a consultation. Sa mga young creators, yung mga uh, CCAP members, uh, may mga, to be a member of CCAP, by the way, kailangan meron kang IP na ginagawa. So you're already working. Hindi lang siya idea. Meron na kang story idea. Hindi. Meron kang, meron ka ng nagawang Sinusulat script, na. meron ka ng characters, meron ka ng, meron ka ng concrete na siya. So that's how you know, and then we talk to them. Ano, ano, what are you, what are you finding? Ano ba yung mga nakita mo ganyan again? I mean, Jing, I have to say, ha, as a lami ng kinausap namin ng mga members and all that, ang lami nating kwento, ang lami nating um, things na makukuha that we don't actually get to uh, see yet. Kasi hindi nila alam kung saan ilalabas. Pag hindi nila alam kung paano matapos. That's the big thing. We don't actually know how to finish. We know how to start it. We know how to siguro produce it kasi doon natin natutunan yung mga production skills natin. Pero after that, paano na? Paano ba natin ibibenta to? How do we actually, ano? And we hear all the horror stories, di ba? Ng mga IPs na nabili ng mga uh, networks or nabili ng mga publishers, kanyang yan, for a little amount. Tapos hindi nila kanila dahil per, in perpetuity, perpetuity. Na, 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 oh, na benta mm-hmm. na yung rights nila doon. So hindi nila lang magawa. So, our goal, as as Magu has said earlier, um, when we talk about the uh, creators, not we're talking about the content market that we're they, we're we're growing. Na para they start, they they produce, they finish, they sell, and then they find ways to further their IPs. So, ang goal talaga ng ayo is by let's say 2024 is that we will truly have a real content market that people will be coming in from international, from the regions, to see our uh, our stories, to see our characters, and also for us to meet other people and and collaborate with Sweden and their music, to collaborate with um, other uh, technologies. For example, uh, I in my day job is in motion capture animation. So how do we further that motion capture technology here in the Philippines so that we can further um, be able to tell and match the quality levels that the, that the world audience is already uh, used to, di ba? Parang, mm. parang yun yung nakikita natin. So that's how uh, CCAP actually sees its, its full um, potential for its um, members and creators. Jing, may question ako. Uh-oh. Attorney, go. Um, Oh, ang ganda nung ano no, nung uh, objectives nung nung ano nung organization. Ah uh, parang kunyari ako, may meron akong binubuong comic ka uh, strip siguro, let's say, let's say something like that no na uh, I want to be to become an parang siguro an action series. Pero how do you exactly help your members? Um Meron ba kayong parang uh, legal um, uh, services that you provide or meron din ba kayong uh, sort of uh, funds to to help uh, them publish mm-hmm. or get our sponsors? Uh, how do you, how do you like, uh, help your members? So there's different ways. Now we have different programs. That's a really great question. Thank you, Attorney. Uh, first. Uh, we do actually have as part of our core um, an, a, an attorney who's familiar in uh, IP, who's familiar with um, uh, culture and heritage and stuff like that because a lot of our stories are actually coming from history or culture and heritage and things like that. So mm-hmm. uh, very important. Uh, the second part of that is um, how do we help them with uh, is their funding? We actually are talking to various groups. We actually are looking at uh, government, not just government, because, you know, that's like what it seems like in the Philippines. You know, unang-una pupunta ng mga tao. Saan ba may makakuha ng pera sa gobyerno para makagawa ng ganito? So we are, we explore those things and there are availabilities, especially now that there's the CREATE bill, uh, there's the CREATE law, rather, 
that uh, uh, that uh, was passed that can actually help with the creative industries um, uh, that are starting to grow. Um, so there's funding there, but there's also grants that are available from not just uh, in the Philippines, but outside uh, that uh, provide, um, if not, definitely not the full, but to get your development started so that at least you can get that started. Kasi ang IP naman, ang, ang, when you create your own thing naman, hindi naman sa bibigyan ng lahat ng pera sa EO and then you get to finish the entire thing. You get to do the development of it so that you can pursue and continue to sell it. So kumbaga, if if my if uh, my feature, I will create it so that yung script niya tapos na, yung characters niya tapos na, yung trailer ko, magagawa ko, and whatever. And then I'll start uh, pitching that. We have a, a program called the Seekup Animation Pitch Lab where we work with mentors and from all over the world to be able to help uh, our saplings, as we call them, how do you make this pitch Bible para pwede ka nang on your own, go around in the festivals and show and then be able to make your ask. Yun ang biggest thing eh. That's, yeah, Jing said it kanina. As an artist, medyo minsan yung business side or yung mga artist lang ako, but actually they're very good at it because they know exactly how to Ano uh, word nila doon? Parang uh, yung, alam nila yung cost eh. Alam nila kung ano yung kailangan nila eh, to be able to build it. So all you need is a little bit more uh, support para matutunan nila, okay, so hindi lang mo i-cover yung overhead mo. Ha? You also have to make a markup para at least matut- matutuloy mo yung, yung, yung gagawin mo for, for future. So when you talk about that, you're talking about, okay, ito yung development ko. Ibebenta ko siya. I'll talk about how to, ano, we find more funders so that they we will be able to do the production itself hmm. and then you talk to the distributor the distributors you talk to the to the people who are publishing it to you talk to the various regions when you talk about distribution hmm. kasi sometimes when we focus on it sabi natin ah yeah na netflix na siya pero bakit netflix lang what if hmm. there's other regions in the world na wala hmm. naman netflix or hindi naman yun ang yes. benta sa kanila di ba hmm. let's look at what other distribution platforms are available Let's talk about ano ba bang pwede natin gawin dito. So that's what uh, the programs that uh, that um, CCAP is also doing. Na. Hey, let's talk about ano ba bang mga platforms available dyan. Ano ba yung mga distribution um, uh, trends na nangyayari? Um, kasi dati, di ba, puro theat- theatrical lang ang nakikita nila. How will mm-hmm. we get this in theaters? With the pandemic, talagang lumabas yung mga, oh, there's so many platforms. Ilang channels na ba? Ilang mga pla- uh, apps na ba yan na pwede natin, uh, we can watch, ano? And again, content is king. That's all people are looking for. You go anywhere right now. Lagi nila sinasabi, we need more content. How fast yes. can you make this? Uh-huh. Diba? Ganyan. So, uh, CCAP is there with the programs to be able to help you find your funding. We, <laughs> kami mismo, nagigihahanap ng kaming funding. Pero, um, because we are familiar with some of the things that we've done before, pwede namin to bring in more, bring in networks into CCAP so that our members are more um, uh, exposed to uh, the, the trends and all that. And then also um, find ways so that we can then also bring uh, these IPs out. Kung hindi pan makapunta yung uh, our creator kasi day job or you know, mahirap yung um, makuha yung funding at the same time yung visa. We can also help represent them when we when we go out to the festivals. Para when we talk to people about this IP and all that, when we come back, meron yan, oh, here are the people that are interested, ito yung mga numbers, ito yung mga ano, ito yung mga tanong nila, let's connect you. Let's talk about that. Ano ba yung mga ibig sabi yan? So it really is bridging that, uh, that, that, that gap right now. Ultimately, ang goal is to get them do it themselves so that they can you know there's nobody better to sell your own than you kung ginawa mo siya correct so yeah. diba mm-hmm. ikaw ang pinakamagaling doon so kung ginawa mo siya so the goal talaga is to really empower them mm-hmm. to okay. utilize that oo sabi namin nga ang sabi we, we once ang sabi ko before bakit tayo manufacturers at saka consumers ng IP tayo yung gumagawa, tapos tayo, binibili din natin siya, di ba? Gum- ginawa natin yung video game na to. Tayo rin ang bibili ng video game na yan. Hmm. Why don't we become that IP owner so that we can create it, earn that revenue, and then also allow the rest of the world to enjoy our, you know, our work. 
our you know our passion project yeah. you know i'm so glad that yeah, good. Oh. i'm so glad that we have people like um, marla and maguna talaga napaka progressive ng thinking nila about this industry na kailangan na kailangan oh. talaga ng pilipinas na ano kasi matagal ko nang nakikita eh yung potential mm, yeah. of philippines when it comes to creativity kaso yes. wala sila walang matakbuhan yung mga tao it's mostly kasi puro <laughs> puro ano eh gamitin ko na yung word puro Issue. trapo kasi nagmamahala uh-huh. na ating mga batas eh, kaya kailangan talaga puro young young and progressive mm. thinkers uh, Draymond may Mer- meron na akong tanong kasi pinakikinggan ko mabuti yung yung sinasabi ni Marla at saka ni Magu um, mal- yung sinabi mo kanina tungkol sa because I've managed someone already like that a writer mm. who who couldn't get published and I help him publish himself. And uh, mm-hmm. so ganun ganun yung ano ganun yung development. Pero ito yung tanong ko. Una, dun sa lahat ng kwento ninyo, ang dulo ba ng ang dulo ba ng content creator maging magmonetize dun sa talent? Uh, that's ano ah, that's a pretty straightforward question because parang it all spins around this uh, this discussion when the content creator really is the person who ideates he creates, he probably produces, and maybe, you know, distributes it to whatever platform is available. Tapos ang thinking yes. nila dyan sa platform niya, kaya de, YouTube, dami lang subscriber, etc., etc., mm, 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 or TikTok, yeah. and so and then they start earning money. So parang, oh, I earn money. That's my first question. The other one is that there are so many kinds of content creators, but uh, CCAP is focused on animation. Uh, what is it? Animation, games, music, mm. Uh, comics. By the way, I'm from San Pablo, so uh, the great comicero si Jerry Alingi. There you go. Mm, there you uh, go. Kapit bahay namin, and my son is, uh, uh, no, he's an animator also, so he's, you know, he knows uh, a lot about him. And music, di ba yan ang, ano, tsaka ano pa ba? Uh, basta yun, di ba yan? Character, yeah, right? so yeah, character. This is what, this is what we yeah. cover. So why can't, why can't we cover like the hobby expert like Jin? Diba? or the or the podcaster like attorney melvin diba? can they do we not produce ip material that can also be you know that can also go through this process ah no okay that's that's a great that's a great question also um so because one of the things that that uh when seekup was coming together we were all creators on that on those different platforms comics animation music uh video games and all that so when we were coming together when we decided to focus on the particular uh, Filipino content that we were talking about, um, it was because iba rin yung kasi the, the YouTubers and the influencers and the streamers. Iba yung ano nila, like, mm-hmm. uh, we want to say now when, when we talk about them, it's more that they advertise and they market and it is about promoting um, a brand. Yung brand nila, yung sarili nila, you know, if it's, uh, if it's their channel and they're talking about makeup, di ba? Mm-hmm. And then they get their sponsors, and then oh, oh I buy this makeup and look at my makeup, and or oh hey my I know I have a I have this uh, person that was also helping me, and this is the new bag. This is the bag from wherever. Get mm-hmm. and look at it now. Ganyan. Sorry, the papan sinyo ba yung mga type ng streamers na pinipin- <laughs> 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 yeah. But Ito na po. But more, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but more often than not, they advertise, they market, they look at other content. We talk about. Uh, when we talk about uh, even the news right now, even the journalism and uh, and how we get our where we get our news from, um, in, in the United States, for example, the mile well, there is still the CNN, the MSNBCs, the Fox networks, and all of that. NPR and its podcasters and stuff like that are actually far more interesting and actually followed. Because they really get into the meat of the of the uh, of the thing, yeah. so so iba rin yung yung world nila and how that's actually uh, promoted. Um, I believe Magu, correct me if I'm wrong. There is a uh, um, a content creator group as well yes, parang for yes. the influencers, mm-hmm. right? Oo. For the influencers, yes. Pero, and that's one more reason why Seekup didn't want to go into that. Because meron na meron ng gumagawa. Yeah. But what we want to do is what Seekup kasi um, we believe in co-option rather than competition. But let's work mm-hmm. together. Because the, one of the things I, I like to say, and, and Sina Marla and the rest are sick and tired of hearing me say this, you know, um, the rising tide lifts all boats. Mm-hmm. Right? And that's what we, that's yeah. the kind of thinking we need now, not just for the Philippines, but for the region. 
Southeast mm-hmm. Asia, if you want to be taken seriously as content creators, regardless if it's short form, which is your TikToks, right? your, 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 your streaming, which is your YouTube or your Twitch, right? Or your podcast, your audio streaming, or your, 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 all of these other platforms, or you're going to go more, ano, more structured or ano, like, you know, animation, TV, film. You know, we have to be working together. Mm-hmm. It can't be, ah, animation ako, tapos, ano eh, short form ka, tapos ikaw music ke. You know, that's why Korea worked. They came mm-hmm. together. That's why Japan works. They came together. And if you look at it, um, this is with the cool Japan um, strategy, what was done. No? So it's a partnership between private and public and the creatives. They work together. If you notice, um, a few years ago, ang sikat na pagkain sa Pilipinas was tempura. Right? Nagsila ba sa mga tempura places mga 20 years ago. And if you look at the content being pushed by Japan palabas, laging may tempura sa mga palabas. Ngayon, sa K-drama, ano ba ang sikat na pagkain ngayon na sa Philippines? Sangyup? Sangyup? Actually, ngayon hindi. Hindi na sangyup. Eh. Yung, yung the new one is that um, egg drop, that egg sandwich. Right? Mm-hmm. Yung fluffy, ano, if you look at most K-dramas from now until, that's what they're pushing. Lagi yun. Subtle. Subtle ano? Placement. Yeah, oo nga. I noticed. It's programming because it's cultural exp... Mm-mm. Yes. Oh, yeah, because it's, it's one big cultural export. That's why they work. That's why it works for them. The Korean wave. Yeah. And, you know, the uh, China is trying to do the same thing. I I, 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 um, I just actually got back from a trip from Vietnam. Um, I was uh, consulting for their government agency and they want to do the same thing you know they're coming together they're, they're they're trying to organize themselves because they see the potential of what sikap has been saying for the past five years diba? Ang, ang, sana ang Pilipinas, we can come together sana we can all work para hindi naman tayo maiwan ng bus diba? Mm, yeah. hindi tayo sabit sa jeepney yeah, diba? sabit tayo yung nagmamaneho tayo. Oo, sana tayo yung nagmamaneho oo nga tama Sa pagkakataon na to eh. Yeah. I mean, and I say this also, and, and Sina Marla, and the, they say this also, you know, the opportunity is here, but it's an opportunity. It's not there forever. Yeah, that's correct. Right? Yeah. That's so, the thing. Ito, ano yung may mga nagtatanong yata? Tiyan, nakita mo ba? May tanong si... Uh, wait, uh, sorry ah, andin ko na lang to. Uh, si Mate, sabi niya, lahat na lang ng tao call themselves content creator. Sino or ano ba ang legit na content creator? <laughs> sabi niya, ni. Si Michael Lance, actually, may tiyatanong siya about, wait, yun, si, ayun, question, does visual artists and creatives have access to trainings and tools to learn NFTs? Kasi you mentioned nga NFTs kanina, no? Yes. Uh, Marla, mm-hmm. yun yun tanong ni Michael. Yes. Uh, ewan ko na kung na-sagot na- na- mo, pero let's go back to that. Oh, yeah, sure. So, um, Access to training and, and workshops, there's always uh, a lot available naman. Sa Pilipinas, I think that's one of the things na magaling tayo. Magaling tayo magturo ng uh, how-to. Uh, and and also, if that's something that our members are looking for or want to look into, we can definitely bring that in as a program that we would have or a workshop that ha- that we have. Um, NFTs in itself, we do have, uh, we had, we uh, what we actually are bringing in is more of a conversation when it comes to Kasi it's a very divisive topic, di ba? Napakaraming tao mm-hmm. naman, yung, there are artists na talagang galit na galit, ay, hindi pwede ang NFT, bawal yes, yan, kasi yes. it's a uh-huh. toy thing, yun, yun, yun. on the other side naman. Pero this is a way for yeah, us to actually embr- make money. Embracing the technology for their creators. Ex- uh-huh. Yes, oo. Al- 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 lahat na lang, ano, di ba, NFT gaming, crypto crypto gaming, yung mga ganyan, lumalabas lahat yan. Um, is it something that we will we would teach if there was um, a bigger interest? Maybe, but more on the side of how can you monetize what you're doing? If it's more on oh how can we create it? Um, I believe there are um, organizations that actually are doing that. I believe GDAP, uh, Game Developers Association of the Philippines, has something like that, or uh, or the Animation Council might also have something that teaches people how to uh, get. Uh, animate or to do the to do, the, to do um, a model for example or something like that um, and we do work with ano, um, coincidentally lahat kami members and kami ng mga iba't ibang associations eh. so uh, I'm, I'm a member of uh, animation council of the philippines so pagdating sa animation uh, services and all that 
we're very familiar. Sa game development, meron kaming si our treasurer, si Ria Lu, is also of the Game Developers Association. So, um, kumbaga lahat, ng, there are programs, so ang sasagutin ko lang, there are programs available, we can always share our partner posts so that makita hmm. nyo on our Facebook and on um, our website kung ano-ano mga programs ang meron kami and uh, pwede namin i-share from our partners so that you'll be able to learn it. Here, here's that a comment us. from ano, no, from Paul Anton Isla. Exciting times ahead for the content creation industry. I think we're seeing a resurgence of the country's visual and uh, wait. Sabi niya, ako na wala. Visual and visual arts and animation industry. Kudos to the to your guests. Sabi niya. Mm. Thank you. I, and ko dun sa ano no, dun sa blog, sa visual sa postcard natin there's the logo of the ICT and DTI anong role nila dito sa upcoming event or dun mismo sa organization niyo they're actually our partners and sponsors um the ICT region 7 and uh the Cebu Chamber of Commerce and Industry um there there are partners when it comes to IO the IO event uh they're presenting it with us um Bagu, do you have their? I'm trying to look for their. Because they have a really title that they use, and uh, I want to make sure that I use it myself. Para hindi ko, para hindi ako magkamali. Alam mo naman ang mga sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I, I don't think I have uh, that as well. But um, yeah, but they yeah, are but, our partners. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, Go ahead. And, uh, yeah. The DTI um, has been actually a partner of CCAP for quite some time. Also, um, they have been one of the first to actually uh, partner with us to send Filipino con- original content out into the global markets alongside the Film Development Council of the Philippines. And also, um, you know, we have other partners with the Intellectual Property Office of the Philippines as well. So, you know, we, yes. we are very much into partnering with government agencies um, because mm-hmm. we know that um, we can't do it alone. We, we're building an industry, yep. not just a community, right? Not just a sector. Although we are a community, but the rising tide is all boats. So we really have to work with all the stakeholders to, to make this happen. Um, oh, and, I found and, and, it. There you go. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, Marla. No, no, please. No, I just want to say that IO is co-present, co-presented by DICT in partnership with the DTI Region 7. And of course, our friends at the Cebu Chamber of Commerce and Industry. See, I can do it well. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> and we want to make sure that you know our partners get there and uh, get get uh, no, get, get you know <laughs> the, the, their due deserve. Because I mean they, they've been they've been really um in it, it. To be honest, that's supporting, one of the supporting the organization. Yeah, no. yeah and it's yes, and it's and, sure. you know, to be honest, that's one of the things that we we love to see more of, right? Mm-hmm. We 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 believe kasi naman that what we're doing isn't just for ourselves. It's not about mm-hmm. empire building, guys. It's about building the Philippines and putting the Philippines and the region on the map. The Philippines first, yes. of course. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, which is actually a great way to segue. Very quickly, love. Great way to segue. We are actually going to have our IO roadshows. After the IO event in October, we will be visiting various regions to meet with the uh, creative um uh, associations in the various regions, be it in animation and comics, kung may illustration dyan, kung saan man. Uh, we are planning to go visit uh, um, to get to know uh, uh, the needs and to get to know kung ano ba yung mga um, hidahanap nila as a creator, as a, a original content, a Filipino creator. Um, and then, you know, to help them also understand ano ba yung purpose ng IO and why they should attend um, the IO events every year. Good. Sana magkaroon tayo ng NPR katulad ng minensyo mo kanina. It's one of my favorite ano yan, uh, platform yan pag when it comes to content sa internet. Yes. Sana, oh, yun, oh. Matagal ko ng dream na sa TV5 pa ako. Sabi ko sana magkaroon, magkaroon kami ng, ano, ng budget na magkaroon, magkaroon kami ng NPR sa Pilipinas. That's, wow, it's a really incredible and incredible radio. Yeah, and kasi in depth talaga yung mga conversation. It's yeah. hindi lang siya pas, di ba? Hindi lang siya yung parang skimming lang the top. Ano ba yung mga news ngayon? Mm. Then, oh, it goes yes. in depth. So, you know, yeah. maganda dun eh. That's what I like about it. Yes, so true. Mm-hmm. Raymond, uh, Melvin, bago tayo. Yeah, gusto ko lang, yes. ano, no, yung uh, well, objective pa rin ng, ano, ng FICAP no na yung change of mindset ba? So, ano sabi yes. ni Baguna? It's uh, it's time na we 
benefit from intellectual poverty na uh, ano na kinikreate ng mga na mga Pinoy kasi usually yes. yun nga may parang inferiority complex tayo eh so, uh, yes. <laughs> binibigay natin yung we defer to to the, uh, to the westerners to the japanese parang hindi tayo na hindi parang hindi na validate yung work natin kung hindi na kung di, hindi kung di, <laughs> oh, yung boss, marang ganon. Oh. So, parang kulang sa bili ano yun, ano, sa self uh, confidence, belief or yeah. <laughs> confidence or self confidence, di ba? That's so yes, true, Rabbit. That's, that's, that's true. That's very, that's very, very true. And and we and we have a lot of members. And ako, honestly, I was one of I was one of those uh, early on in my music career, na ganon, no? Um, and but you see, that's the thing, eh. Um, what we realize in CCAP is when you find your community and you find other people who can objectively say na, hey, that's not nice, hey, that's just nice. Hindi yung, I mean, hindi yung parents mo na, ah, ang galing-galing naman ng drawing ng anak ko. <laughs> diba? Oh, the best. <laughs> diba? Oh, oh galing-galing. Diba? I mean, <laughs> diba? It's, it, I mean, but if you have a person that you respect or who is also in the same trade craft and he says, oh, this is actually quite good. Ba? I mean, diba? that, 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 that means different. Eh. And you know, we have a joke nga, um, well, we, we cry in the shower. Diba? We cry in our respective showers because we're not good enough. Um, but we also realize that, hey, we, we actually are good enough in the eyes of other people. Because diba, if for all the creators, all the artists, you are your hardest critic. Eh. Diba? Um, and that's why another, another program that Sika has is we have our creative weekends, wherein you know, people come together. For a weekend, um, they, they they different different ano, different um, creative fields and just come together for a weekend to help workshop each other, to help bounce off ideas, and to hopefully get to the next level or the next stage of what they're working on. Because we all have creative roadblocks, right? We all have the times now we're Good. self-doubting. Mm. Yeah, go ahead. Share ko lang. Uh, I attended a intellectual property event. Uh, was it last week or the other week? Sponsored by. Ah, uh, yung video conference, uh, parang ganon, uh, ng of Asia and and Globe uh, was the one who invited me and um, Congressman uh, Joey Salceda was the was one of the speakers. And sabi niya, the the U.S. became the world's largest economy in eighteen. 18- 90 or 1898 and it was a continuous dominance as biggest as the world's biggest economy alam niyo kung bakit it's aside from the fact that they have a strong military it's because of intellectual property the, yes, yes. It, continuous production of intellectual property and they have of course the laws and the military mm-hmm. to enforce their right to mm-hmm. get yes. money out of that intellectual property. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's how you know hindi na we realize mga Pinoy eh, no? Kasi it's intangible. Akala nila, wait, di ako kakapera diyan, ang hirap ang, ang hirap maningil. I'm just a starving artist mga ganyan eh, di ba? So, it's we we we, 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 can, seem, we can seem to grasp na intellectual property is as good or as uh, rich as any you know, wealth uh, generating yeah, yeah. Uh, for sure. source. The U.S. Yeah, daming yung mga mga patent sa kasa copyright. Absolutely. Just so you guys have an idea, just so you guys have an idea, in 2020, in the U.S. territory alone, no, for IP-focused related work, you know, yung binabanggit nga, Authorship, Bernie, yeah. No? Authorship is 6.6 trillion U.S. dollars wow. just in the U.S. alone. Just in the U.S. Philippi- just in the U.S. yun na. Trillion? No, 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 trillion. Wow. Compared to all the other service, creative service industries put together, well, that, they don't make a dent in that 6.6 trillion U.S. dollars for IP focused, uh, IP authorship focused things. Kaya and that's just in the U.S. alone. Yes, kaya malaming artists until now, kahit 20, 30 years, royalties and kumikita pa rin sila. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true, that's true. Um, I, I met this yeah. guy in... in in Vietnam recently, uh, he was the one who wrote the hit song of BTS that made them go viral. No, and he was telling me that he has 50 songs growing in the world right now, and you know he 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 feels so bad for the new artists who work so hard and get so little. Pero siya nakapulang siya, and then and he makes more than what what some 
some companies make <laughs> in 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 a month oh. <laughs> in in in, yeah. in this country no but but see yeah. and, 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 and it's amazing at turn yeah sorry, go ahead, go ahead Marla. i'm sorry no i was just going to say na and and that's exactly why tama eh. it's the mindset that we need to have changed mm. kasi if yes. we're always yes. used to na uh, alam mo ito yung gagawin natin pero yung, alam lang natin yung gawin natin pero hindi natin mag hindi we are not actually trying to teach people about uh, how what is intellectual property but how do you maximize your yeah. the opportunities you have in your yeah. creation so we are actually uh, calling out and we're actually talking to a lot of government agencies to to us to to look for the support from the government from business sector um, we are partnered with the uh, the intellectual property office and we're actually um, working very closely with them on copyright and all that because yeah. we want to make sure that um, that the mindsets are changed when it comes to this the, the idea diba? Yeah, and and it's not just I know, and just to add, no, CCAP, you know, we've been, we, CCAP has been very active in partnering with the uh, different local agencies. But we also have partnerships and conversations with um, agencies, government agencies, and uh, institutions outside of the, the Philippines. We have partnerships yes. with the Malaysian Digital uh, Economy Corporation simply because they're now positioned as a thought leader in Southeast Asia in what we're doing, right? We have discussions yes. with Taiwan, with Vietnam, with Thailand, seeing how we can come together. Because yun nga, your uh, attorney hit the nail on the head, diba? Kaya malakas si US kasi they know how to, to utilize and optimize their IP. Mm-hmm. You sit, you create and it, you sit it. down. And protect it. Yeah. And, and dun, 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 dun lang region natin medyo uh, still working on it, right? So actually, I'm very thankful with, yeah. the, with how the intellectual property office of the Philippines has been ramping up in the past years no in in, yes. in the registration process in the protection and even in the enforcement no and because mm-hmm. you know with with my job as an ip ecologist um when i get to meet with the other governments and uh, do consultations with them i see na parang uy labang palang pilipinas because they're still like 10 years behind where we are in terms of ip protection even in in understanding ip i mean and that's one thing that um, CCAP also does we we, we make sure na we, we we have these simplified basic um talks and workshops for our members like um how to spot a red flag in a contract even how to read a contract and mm-hmm. simple things like that diba? understanding deal structures yeah actually yes i was about to say we had a we had a one of those open sessions lang na sabi na, oh we'll just talk about uh copyright so, yeah, we'll do a, an open workshop or whatever invite uh, post it on our facebook and you know. Not fully expecting a lot, huh? I'll be honest. Uh, I was thinking about my basic questions about who I am. Attorney, you'll be very surprised. Ang mga questions na kuha namin about the copyrights, about um, fan art, about uh, uh, other rights and all that. Talagang very intensive ang mga questions nila. Na talagang kahit kabe was, wow, we thought basic ang mga questions na to. And people are really very interested in trying to find out how can they make sure na you know, my daliba mag register. Is it is it worth to register a copyright? Yeah. Diba? Amin naman talaga to at the very at the at the, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the at its existence. But uh, it just helps to to protect it more if you register it. You mga ganon class eh. It it was very quite a, uh, an eye opener for me personally to see how many people were actually really interested to know more about copyright. Okay. Right, usapan natin ngayon, napaka-interesting pero naubusan tayo ng oras. Pero Raymond, gano'n ka ba ba? Ano? May, may mga ito ba tanungin? Hindi, <laughs> ma- marami ako. Like, extend na tayo. We can extend a few minutes. Sige pa, para lang matapos natin. Ganda kasi na usapan natin. Oh, eh. Ang ganda yun. Kasi, well, we're talking of we're talking of IP. At saka kasi, de, sorry, hindi nyo nasagot yung question ko kanina. Ang tanong ah, sorry, ko, yeah. ang dulo ba ng IP protection <laughs> ay monetization. monetization? Because I have a next okay. question to that. Dahil, okay. dahil ito yeah. lang, um, the way that we're talking about it and, and this this wonderful interface that CCAP is doing to put together human creativity and IP and technology together, tapos, as as we said, di ba, to protect it and and you know to move forward. So, you first step ng moving forward na yon, yun ba, monetization. Ano yung next step after that? Okay. Um, uh, easy. Sige. Go ahead. Uh, if I may. Um, and this is, um, well, this is my, my personal take on it. Okay. Um, monetization is, the, is not the be all end all. Okay. But it is an instrument and tool to make sure you can continue making. Mm-hmm. Right? As a creator, you don't want to make a one off. 
Correct. Right? But we need to keep one hit wonder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Diba? Wag tayo maging four non blondes. At least sa Pilipinas one hit wonder siya, diba? <laughs> Pero we don't know around the world. Pero I mean, yung, yung ganun ba, yung diba, it's it hin- it may sound that hey, mag, you know, ang greedy naman sa puro pera. Pero the reality is it's it's that's why it's called ano, eh, an entertainment industry. Eh. May business component siya. Right? And what we are offering, what we hope the mindset is, is that shift na when you sell, it doesn't mean you're selling out. Uh, allow me to repeat that. Yes, yes. When you sell, it doesn't mm-hmm. mean you're selling out. Correct. You're just okay. buying in. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it makes sure you have money to pay for your globe. You have money to pay for your licenses so we don't use pirated software. Yes. We can buy the latest technology that we need. Right? We can feed our families with it. I mean, that's the dream of any artist, right? Of course, yeah. <laughs> Finally quit your day job yeah. and do that for a living. Um, and, you know, yeah. I'll be honest, um, it's, it's, we're getting there. But it's still a path to get there because, mm-hmm. like we've been saying earlier, it, it needs it's an entire ecosystem in itself. It needs to come together, right? Yeah. Um, and on the issue of protection, I just want to add this. No, I mean the purpose for me, the purpose of uh, IP protection, is not protecting IP per se, but it's protecting the valuation, the value, which has two sides: mm-hmm. your economic value, which is based by the numbers, your market value, your consumption, and your perceived value, which is based by how people view the external factors valuing the IP. That's why yes. sa Asia, mahina tayo dun sa, ano, sa valuing, Valuation. sa perceived yeah. value, kahit mataas right. yung economic value. Mm-hmm. Kasi feeling mm-hmm. natin, hindi naman importante. Mm-hmm. Wala naman point. Mm-hmm. Akin naman to, yeah. ah, eh di boycott na lang natin yan or i-trash talk natin sa ano, or i-burn natin sa Facebook or social. I mean, we take things into our own hand, which is cool. We have a community. But that's not enough if we want to actually build an industry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then uh, to further add, uh, Raven, I want to, to answer also. Uh, the economic me, the economic uh, windfall, whatever it might be, um, is a plus. But really, it's contributing to uh, our own cultural uh, database. Uh, you know, all of our mm-hmm. stories. One of the things that we want to do, because while we visit the different regions is to find out ano yung kwento ng region nyo? Ano ba yung mga kwento na ganyan? Mm-hmm. Because this becomes a repository of our own cultural identities, of the, sto- the different stories and the different characters and the different things that we create in our own culture. It helps to further define who we are in this very varied regional, very provincial, very territorial uh, 7,600 islands of ours, there's different viewpoints, there's different stories, and there's different things. And I think that's we we don't actually have a real true representation of each and every one of us. And that really is shown through the stories. So if we can share these stories, if we can have these characters live again in, in today's lives and have their values and their their uh, what made them great uh, alive again for me uh, uh, monetary value aside it's the cultural identity that we create it's the contribution to our own um, identity as a filipino um, that that gets to be added diba but if we can have something that we we are um, quote unquote exporting not just our services but if we can truly also export um who we are so that the the world may know us not only in the world of you know oh OFW slang or uh or um what's this the I, I they had a term they have a term for it, it's a poverty poverty porn type thing yeah, yeah. Mm. Right? that becomes you know parang it becomes almost ha pag ganyan, kailan, you know it's award winning filipino media kasi ganito, it's all about the sadness again Mm-hmm. I want to talk about the heroes. I want to talk about the what made us who we are. Na kahit na may bagyot lahat eh, pag pinicture ng mga tao, eh, kulang na lang, laki ng ngiti, di ba? Yung mga ganon. Yung, remember that story doon sa Yolanda? There was like, you know, families were had a whole, uh, whole um, homes lost and everything. They were sitting in tents and everything. Tu want si Anderson Cooper. Ano sabi nila kay Anderson Cooper? Kain na. Tara, here, join us, di ba? In a world where that that kind of you know, uh, resilience exists. Saan ang galing yun? Diba? Those are identities. And for me, this helps. CCAP helps 
kasi nationalism is also part of our of our value mm. system eh. it's it's yeah. for, it's knowing who we are and how our stories are developed from our points of view whether or not it's a truly filipino story or it's a story that we made up it's our it's our point of view eh. and i think that helps in the uh, just a general uh, cultural patrimony of, of of what we bring and that's a that's for me Okay, on that note, uh, Marla and Magu, we'd like to thank you for gracing our show tonight. Pero invite them again for the, your upcoming event just to um, to recap. Yes, please. If you uh, join us uh, this coming October 7 and 8, uh, 7 and 8 will be a hybrid. It will be through AirMeet. We will find that information on our Facebook page at the Creative Content Creators Association of the Philippines. Or our website at ccapphilippines.org. Um, ccapphilippines.org. Um, we are also. Uh, it will be seven and eight hybrid live event will be in um, Cebu, and on the 14th and 15th, I 2022, will be all online on air meets with the various international speakers that we have to talk about your own IP. So please join us, and also join CCAP if you have your IP. Come and join us. Join yeah. our community. Magu, mayroon ka bang gusto nang sabihin? Pahabol? Well, I just want to say thank you for this opportunity and to all the creators out there who, you know, want to get a move on. Hey, CCAP is a community. We are a safe space. It's okay to rant. We have a lot of ranting sessions. Um, but more uh, more than that, you know, we're here to journey together. You know, we're, you know, we're here to share what we know. We're not here to say na itago lang itong mga knowledge and networks namin para sa amin. It's here to share. To, to those who want to pursue this type of path. No? And also, kanina pa ako, ano, baka magalit lang po, uh, shout out lang lang po kay Miss Bachi De Leon, kay Miss Matessa Viejo, thank you so much for uh, for my hair and makeup na binigay ninyo sa akin uh, messenger. <laughs> okay, Bagu Del Mundo and Marla Rausch, Ve, thank you very much. Uh, brilliant minds and progressive people behind CCAP and IO 2022 uh, helping our industry, our content creator in the stream to move forward farther than where we are right now. Thank you. Thank you thank very you so much. much. Thank you. Sa inyong lahat. Raymond, uh, 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 overtime na tayo. Ha? Oh. Overtime na tayo. Wala tayong time, time para balikan yung ibang mga storya natin. Pero Sige. may mga pahabol ka pa, Mel. Attorney, Raymond? Uh, I'll just say congratulations to CCAP for, you know, creating this, this, uh, this, this movement for a uh, strong creative economy napaka diverse nung discussion natin kanina eh nung tungkol diyan pero maraming salamat sa sikap at uh, yan yeah. so oh. ano magpapaalam na ako Tito G ha, bago ko ipasa kay oh, sige, sige, sige 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 so maraming salamat po ito po si Raymond Tribdino talagang ano po ako eh naging tahimik kasi ma, ma, pinakinggan ko mabuti yung pinag-uusapan ni Magua at ni Marlo dahil yung meron ako sa aking bahay mismo meron ako mga content creators pala dito sa dito sa pamilya ko. So maraming salamat sa inyo. This is Raymond Tribdino ng Malaya Business Insight sa Tuesday po. Today is Tuesday. Back to you, Tito Jing. Attorney. Attorney. Okay, thank you, Tito Jing. Hi, Tito Tips. And uh, to our guests, si Magu and uh, Marla and uh, to the organization uh, CCAP. So, it's a very interesting uh, ano, uh, event. Hopefully, mga nakinig sa atin eh, ano, no, participate dun sa event, upcoming event ng, ng group nila. Okay, ako po si Marvin Kalimag ng News by ZPH. Kita-kita po ulit tayo next week, Jing. Yes, thank you. Thank you po sa lahat ng sumubaybay ng Tech Sabado ngayon Saturday. Napaka-interesting po na ating usapan. Kung gusto niyo po malaman more information about CCAP and the IO 2022 event, ipopost po namin sa ating comment sections. Maraming maraming salamat din sa mga nag-participate sa atin tonight, no? Na mga kaibigan natin sa mga nanonood ng Tech Sabado sa both platforms, Facebook and YouTube. And sorry sa mga hindi natin na, na tanong yung mga ibang questions. Talagang sobrang ano, no, tuloy-tuloy tayo. Ang ganda kasi ng usapan. Tapos yun na nga, overtime na tayo. Pero ganun pa man, papaalam na rin po ako. Jean Garcia ng techsabado.com and of course, and today is Tuesday and of course, ng The Manila Times. Huwag niyo pong kalimutan Sunday Business and IT sa Sunday Times ng The Manila Times po bukas. Doon po mababasa tomorrow, kung minensyo kanina, yung foldable chair. Ay, chair tuloy. Foldable car. Chair tuloy, mali pa. Okay, ni Noemi Dado, dahil na siya sa IFA 
uh, Berlin sa Germany yung po ang biggest Mukhang maganda yung foldable chair ah Plastic Nagang foldable chair talaga eh no? Na foldable car mobility po ang usapan natin bukas So So ano ba yun Nandun po sa aming sa kanyang column bukas dahil po umattend po siya ng IFA Berlin Germany 2022 yung po yung largest uh, electronic show uh, consumer electronic show po sa Europe para po siyang CES so balik na po ang mga events na ganyan sa abroad so nagbabalikan na unti-unti so face to face na po mga tao at the same time po ganun din po mangyayari sa mga darating panahon may pupuntahan din tayong event naman sa ibang bansa sa sa US and Like at follow nyo po ang aming mga social media pages, facebook.com slash techsabado and facebook.com slash newsbytes.ph. Ay, ma- before ko makalimutan, meron din po kami banner story tomorrow. Uh, yung ano po, parang potential downfall po ng Facebook dahil po hindi na po attractive sa mga teenager ang Facebook. So, para sa kanila nawawala na po ang ano no ang yung yung teen market po. Yan po ang ating banner story tomorrow sa The Manila Times Sunday IT. And of course, sa Twitter po kami at Tech Sabado and at Newsbytes PH. Mga nanonood sa YouTube channel at saka sa Facebook, like, share and subscribe lang po ang kailangan yung gawin. Maraming maraming salamat PLDT Smart Group Corporate Communications Team for their continued support for our online shows tulad po ng Tech Sabado at Today is Tuesday. Thank you MSI Philippines. Maki and R- R- RCF para po sa ating mga audio equipment na ginagamit po sa Tech Sabado at saka sa today's Tuesday. Mabibili po sa themusicsource.ph.com locally distributed ng Forerunner Technologies. Tandaan, hindi lahat ng sa internet ay totoo. Pangalagaan nyo po ang pangalagaan nyo po ang inyong data at private personal information para po makaiwas sa identity theft na pwedeng gamitin sa cybercrime. Keep in mind, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Respetuhin po natin karapatang pantao. Dito na po nagtatapos ang Tech Sabado. Hope to interact with you again on Facebook and YouTube next Saturday. And of course, also this Tuesday with Tito Tribs sa Today is Tuesday. And as a COVID survivor, lahat kami dito sa Tech Sabado at saka sa Today is Tuesday, mga COVID survivors, please wear a mask, stay home, stay safe. Take that vaccine if it's available in your area. Pati na rin po ang booster. Have a great week and thank you very much, Asikap. Thank you, Magu and Marla. Napaka-interesting ang usapan natin tonight. Nag-overtime tayo ng ganito. Thank you, thank you sa inyong lahat. Good evening po and again, have a great weekend, everyone. Check, check, check. Check, check.